Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we continue Darkness Falls into day 33. And I've actually never been up here before. I did find an egg here, so we'll grab that. We'll check this. I will put the lucky goggles on for it. See if we get anything good. Just a bunch of parts. Fortifying grip mod, not too bad. There's a working stiff toolbox over there. And the morning bell rings. So for today, I think, wow, that is remarkably better than the last one. Pretty good for savage country, I would say. So I'm going to go put this stuff away. We need to head down to the mine first thing this morning. And I'm just going to auger like my life depends on it. Because it kind of does. We're going to need a lot, a lot of steel. I'm going to sneak through here. Ooh, nice. We need the iron to get the steel production going so that we can get the base upgraded. And speaking of that, I'm also going to get some concrete shapes. Just because it uh, it makes my life easier when building to have uh, a couple hundred shapes. I wonder if I can just get like a thousand forged iron and the rest into forged steel. I finally realized what I'm missing down here and it's the the knife. I put the knife away because I can just use the nux if I need to to skin animals. So a couple of episodes ago I was mining and realizing that I was getting some one shots on the ore and people were telling me that it's related to the mining perk it just automatically happens and I am maxed out on mining right now and so I get it looks like a small chance to find rare ore and a 20% chance to mine ore with a with one hit. We're using the auger from now on. I don't it, screamers be damned. I don't care. Top off on gasoline and let's head down to the mine. I had also received some information that perhaps the quality, not the quality, but like you know, the, the bar, like the health meter for your tool might influence the quality uh, or, or like the damage that you're doing. Unconfirmed, so if you have any information regarding that, do let me know. I think we're far enough away. We will just mine with the auger. If there's screamers topside, they'll probably start digging. We did upgrade to 20.4 and on the patch notes, it said that zombies will basically dig better. If they there was some kind of a bug earlier that they would not dig and their pathing would get messed up if you were far enough underground. That Apparently has been fixed. I have not tested it. I don't really know what that means, but uh, it, what it might mean is that screamers will start digging. Oh yeah, that one shot really coming in handy here. All right, that's seven full stacks of iron. I think that'll hold us over for a couple days. Now we just have to hustle back. I don't hear any screamers and I'm not going to do the glitch through the wall thing to check. We'll just run our ass home and hope for the best. I say we we seem to have this the trick down. I mean, just mine really far away, run back, and I think the screamers that do spawn just get stuck in the like I don't know whatever buildings are over there. Oh look at this! I can just kind of like walk my way back over here. Nice. And we found out in the last episode that if you have a screamer horde and you drive away far enough then uh, they just despawn. The Screamers and all of their minions just go away. So I'm finally going to get some darts crafted. I think I'll get, uh, like how many can I, like I don't think I need 10,000. I'll maybe get like 2,000 to start. And I think I'll move the forged iron over here. Let's just get like a thousand of it. I kinda just wanna be done with the forged iron. Just craft all of it and be done with it. And for these, because these three forges, I have the crucibles in it. Cancel that and just give me like thousands and thousands of forged steel. All right, that'll hold us over for many a day, I believe. So last time I made the hoe last episode, but I, I made the wrong hoe because I went to the workbench. I actually need to go to the metal workstation to make the good iron garden hoe. So I'm going to craft that. That's going to be useful. We're going to make a trip back to the old garden and get that all harvest. Oh, I can hear the screamer. She didn't despawn or another one spawned in. I'm not sure. Either way, we've got to hunt that bitch down. Here, let's just get on the ground level, get some distance. She can't see me from a certain distance, so if I can get just the, uh, the drop on her, should be good. Ah, I see her. Got her. Is she dead? Yep, I think she's down. Well, while I'm right here, I will check on the chicken coops and see if they have spawned. Nope, no eggs yet. I'm hoping in this episode that we can get uh, some more ink because we need the eggs to make ink and the ink to make class books. So I want to get a couple more classes unlocked. I think while I'm right here today, I'll just craft up all the paint that I can. Ooh, that's going to be a lot. <laughs> I don't know if I need that much. Let's just get like 20 paint. That's 4,000. Yeah, I think that's plenty. And people gave me some great advice that I, I should make some junction boxes. I did. I had to do some testing because I had no idea how this worked. So I, I loaded up a test world 
I figured out how all this works, and I, I don't know, I think I'm just gonna get like 12 junction boxes. That's to, so we, that we can hide the wires. Uh, whatever you plug, uh, it's hard to describe. You have to like plug the generator or a switch into the junction box, and then the junction box goes to whatever you want to power, and whatever you connect the junction box to, to get power it does not have a wire. The wire is hidden, so we can clean up the horde base over there a little bit before we get it all finalized. Well, I think that just about does it. Now, we're going to be going to Trader Gens here in just a minute. Let me put the electrical parts and forged iron away, and then I'll go grab up all of the sellables. Well, probably not all of them, or all of them. Okay, and I think we'll just take the dirt bike up north. Basically, all we need to do is harvest... Well, I'm going to go to the trader while I'm up there and try to sell everything that's in my inventory and then everything that we left behind in those boxes from that, that horde night. And after that, we're gonna just harvest up the garden and bring all that stuff back here and get our garden all set up once and for all. Trying to get all of the time sensitive stuff out of the way here early in the day. All right, we'll try wrecked first. Oh, well, that's it for that asshole. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to kill Wrecked real quick. <laughs> Just for the hell of it. Oh, that felt good. It's cathartic. Well, he's back already, but I'll take what I can get. I leave for one week and all these motherfuckers try to move in. Come over here. Oh, look at this. Hooking me up this morning. Thank you. Oh, eat that. All right, I gathered up everything that I could sell, everything that was in those boxes and such. Hello, Let's see if we can one. unload That's a little bit here. Man, some of these things are just like impossible to sell. Okay, let's check our inventory. Uh, I'm good on that stuff. Oh, I love that jump. Wow! Cool trick, man. <laughs> All right, in terms of all these hunting knives that are just so hard to sell, just start scrapping them. I honestly don't care. More interested in preserving some inventory space at this point. Okay, let's see what we can get into the inventory from down here. It should be just a few meds, a little bit of food, and is that it? Ah, uh, a little bit of stuff here. Can't quite get all of it. Oh, hello everyone. I see that a horde just showed up here. <laughs> I think I'll just crouch down. I am a little bit busy sorting my inventory right now. Don't really want anything to do with this. Yeah, see, really, what it is is I have too many of these damn, like, weapon parts. They're not difficult to craft, and I don't really see myself making some of these as well, so just kind of getting rid of a few of them. Like, generic rifle barrels, all it takes is, like, pipes to make those. Right, that should help. The wandering horde is still kind of wandering here. Let's maybe take care of the bear at a bare minimum. <laughs> no pun intended there. Alright, let's see what we can do with- JTA! Ah! Oh, ill-advised, but fun. One could say that we barely made it. All right, so the key here is that we need to start using the iron hoe to harvest everything, basically, because look, we're getting eight. Don't, don't mind the polymer there, I'm scrapping some stuff. So eight instead of four, we get like double the harvest by using the iron hoe. Oh yeah, some of these trees are broken, like in fact, several of them now. Not sure if that has something to do with me updating the game to a new version or Someone said that I had planted the trees too close together, so it could be that. Not sure. Hopefully we don't run into this problem as much at the next base, though. All right, well, that's a huge load of fruit. Let's get all the vegetables now. See what kind of damage this does to Big Mama here. Not enough. Wow, that was just an epic harvest. Now we just need to get the seeds and bring them home for the new garden. Yeah, so three per wild crop now, if we have the hoe with us. 
Oh, look at the big mess of zombies over there. What are they doing? That's probably part of that wandering horde. Like, some of them wandered over that way, and the other half just kind of stuck around over there. Well, that's pretty much our cue. Let's try to get out of here and head back to the base. Ooh, three eggs. Nice. All right, made it. Just got to get all this crap upstairs now. I did make up one of these medicine boxes. So I think I'm going to clear out all the medicine here and put it in there instead. All right, I've crafted a whole ton of seeds. It's now time to just go get them all in the ground. Sooner the better. Well, I think once all those grow up nice and tall here in the next couple of days, oh nice, he's already, then uh, it's going to start looking really nice. It's going to be like a homestead here. All right, now don't forget, we've got to uh, refill those with animal seed. I'm going to do it right now. Animal feed. Okay, and put all the rest of the seeds away. So I think the trick is you just walk up to them and watch out for strippers. <laughs> Take the loot. I don't want the bandages particularly, but uh, what do I do? Right click here to reseed. Good. Yes. Okay. All set. Somehow I got two wheels out of that. I find that fascinating. Let's get those class notes made up. You know what? I don't think I can get the class notes because I'm in fact out of honey. I have two honey left. That is it. Oh man, that's a big problem. I suppose we need to look into making a beehive then. Chrysanthemum, I have all that stuff. Well, at least I can get one class paper for today. So for this next class, uh, we remember we've got one more that we'll probably do in the next couple of days, but I'm gonna go into scavenger class so that we can get lucky looter and further our loot bonus. Scavenger it is. Security is one that I'm really, really looking into. I'm, le I'm less inclined to do survivalist because I don't think we need to do very much hunting. And what was the other one? Laborer, I think we're past that stage. Hunting, eh, I don't know. So scavenger it is. Do that up, accept. And I'm gonna go put down the beehives and we'll get started. I know just where these should go, right in this little spot right here. So I kind of wonder, do I have to charge these periodically or how does that all work? Nah, I don't know. Okay, let's have a look here. Plant fiber, sharp rock, stone axe. Plant fiber, sharp rock, stone axe. And a bunch of junk. All right. Feather, stone, arrow, club, primitive bow. Okay, that's everything. Ooh, gave us a little bit of meat and some water. All right, just scrap all that stuff again. What's next? Boiled water, charred meat. Seems a little weird to make charred meat at this stage in the game, but gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, we are hungry anyway. Next up, gotta gather some dukes. Easy. Now for the final quest, we've gotta gather wood, make frame shapes, and then place the frame shapes, which is fine with me because we have to go over to the base and do some construction anyway. We gotta craft 150 of them. We'll just let that roll in. Gather the rest of our materials and our new, uh, what is this? A laser multi-tool. I will even grab up the concrete shapes and the extra beehives. We'll drop those off on the way over. All right, let's get to work. Good morning, my friends. Get the fuck out of here. So I want to read about this. So a box for bees to live in will eventually produce honey, animal fat, or both. Now I have heard from some people that these are kind of OP. I guess you don't have to charge them or anything. So I'm just gonna like place them there. That'll be our little designated honey area. Get rid of this damn tree. Messing up the aesthetic here. Okay, everything's growing, everything's doing good. Time to head over to the horde base. Now just 
thinking on the way over here. What, can I just place this down, pick it up, place it down, pick it up. That's all you have to do, I guess. But uh, we have to actually place them down to accomplish our goals here anyway. Oh, I'll lay down a junk turret for covering fire while we're down here. We just gotta get this all cleaned up and then rebuilt. Alright, so that is pretty much it. I wanted to get this at least a little bit painted before nightfall, before we can't see it anymore. This is going to be the final color scheme. I played around with some colors and I've settled on this, for better or for worse. I've spent enough time <laughs> deciding on colors. So, uh, for uh, pretty much everything's done. I, that's going to be a pretty big time lapse there. Pretty much the whole day, I think. Oh, and I also got my ass kicked from that horde, but <laughs> we'll live. Anyway, I need to probably get the... The faces like the skulls put in we'll put some spikes in we'll need to upgrade a whole bunch of stuff to steal but i just wanted to spend the day kind of getting this done i don't want it to get to crunch time a little bit later on in the week and then have to like squeeze this all in at the end i want to have plenty of time to get this all operational so while we're going into the night i did bring the wire tool and the the transistor boxes what are these called again junction boxes so i can probably show you how these are gonna work yeah, oh, it's such a mess here. Also, I do want to knock out these arrow slits, and um, someone had suggested also that I get the letters, and I say, like, north, south, east, west. Let's just see what that's going to look like, like, south, so that we can, like, orient ourselves while we're in here. But anyway, this is the primary position here, so we'll start here, I think. I'm going to knock out the arrow slits, and I've selected a better block for this purpose. Ah, oh, and just like that, I'm out of repair kits and the auger is broken. Damn, that auger like chews through the repair kits. We need to do a uh, working stiff tools tomorrow. That's going to be like priority number one and probably the bookstore as well. But there's a new shape I want to use for this. Under the construction pieces, there's this floor joist number two. And if I put this on advanced rotation, I want it to be like this right here, I believe. Now... The advantage that this is going to give us is that, you know, basically for roleplay purposes, you could just use a regular cube and, and put cubes in here, and that would be fine. And nothing could see you or shoot you through that, and it would offer protection for the electric fence posts. But I like to kind of roleplay it a little bit, so I want the wires to actually go through some sort of a... Uh, an opening, but in this particular case, this opening, you can't actually shoot through that. So if I were to get a weapon, we'll, we'll take Black Sky here, and I shoot through this. See, that bullet did not go through the block. That bullet actually damaged the block, almost destroyed it. And so I'll be able to see through here. The wires pass through there as they would pass through any block, but it just aesthetically, you know, 
it's believable. There's not just a block, uh, a wire clipping through a block, which I like. And most importantly, since I can't shoot through it, cops can't shoot through it. And so a cop, a vomit acid or a demon fireball or like a, a radiated vulture can't just like spit through here and knock out all of these electric fence posts. So I think this is going to be better for us in the long run. So I'll continue working on that some other time. Now for the the thing in the middle here that I want to create. So I think I said before that I want to put dart traps here in the middle. So we need like this middle pillar here and I'll just go ahead and upgrade that. So then I'm just going to put like a placeholder block in here to uh, represent the dart trap just like that. Just make sure it looks nice and supported. And I'm gonna use this railing corner for the top. This is important because I'm gonna put a switch up there, like a manual switch for the dart traps. The, the switch is gonna go right there, right on that top piece. So I don't think anything could spit in there and knock out the switch. However, in order to make sure, I'm just gonna make a little archway right here. Oh, that's gonna mess up the plan for the directional indicators but that's okay i think this probably will look better in the long run yep yep that's coming together okay that's all done up we need to dress up these little corners here though i think just something easy on the eyes like this and i'll pull these frames out we'll put dart traps in there eventually but also gonna put railings on the edge like this so that i can reach in from the side and reload the dart traps once they're in there and then the idea will be is there there will be a switch in that little cubby right there and a dart trap in that little cubby right there and i'm going to put an automated vault door on the on the front of it so that any errant projectile coming through here is just going to hit a vault door and then when i hit the when i connect up the switch the switch will be connected to the dart trap and to the door and so the dart trap will start shooting when i flip the switch and the door will open and then i'll just sit over here and i'll I'll go reload my turret or I'll, you know, switch around and then I'll come back over here, turn it off and I'll get back into position to fight myself. At least that's the idea. All right, time to test out a junction box. So I believe the way you're supposed to do it is put like junction box there, switch there. I'll put another one back there there and i'll put that switch back here okay it's making sense now generator goes to switch and the, i guess i well hang on we're gonna need one there and one there okay and i think you want one there as well man this is getting complex okay so generator to this junction box to switch all the switches. Okay, I thought you were supposed to be able to see the wire with the electric tool out, but I guess that's not the case. You just have to kind of remember how this is working. So wait, then um, then do I do switch to this and I can't see? Oh, okay. So I don't need all these ones, or, or do I? Because now I can see the wire on that one. Hang on. Let's try that again. So we've got generator to junction box, junction box to switch, switch to junction box, junction box to all the fences. And so if I hit that switch, all of the fences are on now and there's no wires. And then this one here, turn that off, goes out to the door. Except, oh, I did that wrong. <laughs> Hang on, so that goes to oh, a junction box, which would be right there. So this to junction box, junction box to the door. There we go, I think that's how you do it. Yes, now there's no wire out here and everything can be linked up. Right, <laughs> lots of junction boxes. This is gonna be like one control room and this will be another control room over here. These rooms here will be mostly clear because th this will be like the receiving end of all the electrical lines. I think that will probably do it. Nope, there's one more thing I want to do. I want to dress up this wall because this wall, uh, I'm predicting that, um, like, I think they're titans and then the demon behemoths, they are very, very big and very strong. Someone said 4,000 block damage per hit for a titan. And so I need to beef up this back wall here. 
Okay, well, I'm not sure about function, but it looks good. And let's be honest, that's all that really matters. <laughs> all right. There was like one more little quest over here to finish out the, the scavenger thing. It's going to be making a chest and a door and then placing them down. So let's just do that right here real quick. So just place the door down anywhere and then immediately get rid of it. And I'll just pop down a chest over there and I can probably just start putting some of the stuff that we're going to need over here later into it. Oh, and they gave me a scavenger class reward bundle, a pipe pistol. Just put that on the ground to get rid of it. And some 9 mil. And a little bit of company here. I am going to now head back to the main base. I think I'm done here for the night. What are y'all doing down here? Oh, thank you. Anything good? Not really. What about you? Eh. Third time's a charm. Ah, mechanical parts. Not bad. I gotta cure this infection. I forgot all about that thing. I need to use the turrets so I can get some rest here. Well, 3.23 in the morning. We'll probably get a little bit of a later start tomorrow. I'm gonna start getting things organized. I'm glad we got the base about maybe 90% finished. We'll still have to do a ton of steel upgrades. And speaking of that, yes, lots of steel in here. Nice. We're also going to have to hit up a working stiff tool area, and I think there's one in town that I've driven by before, and we'll see what other trouble we can get into. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. As darkness falls, we pray for courage and protection in the face of our enemies. We are the Order of Steel, and we fear no evil, for we live in the Valley of the Shadow of Death, and evil will fear us. While you're waiting for the next video, check out some of the content on the end screen here. But if you just can't wait to see what happens next, jump on my Patreon and see if early access is right for you. Huge thank you to all of you who continue to support the growth and development of this channel. You all are the true nerds of steel. My name is Tamaraki and I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I'll see you in the next one. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.